for its thermal analysis. We will start by double checking on steady state thermal. Next, we'll go to engineering data, engineering data sources, general materials. As you are aware that piston ring is made up of stainless steel. So I'm using stainless steel as a material. I'll go back to project and update project. Next, I'll go to geometry and right click. Import geometry. I'll import the geometry of piston ring which I have created a lecture back. You can go to the video and check how to design a piston ring. Next, I'll go to model and double click on it. I'll go to geometry and change the material to stainless steel. Next, I'll go to mesh. I'll change the sizing to fine and update. Next, I'll go to steady state thermal and I'm going to insert temperature. As you're aware that this piston ring sits on the groove of the piston head. So it will be in contact. The inner surface will be in contact with the piston head. And so whatever is the temperature here will be the temperature of the piston ring. So let me assume this temperature to be 600 degrees Celsius because I'm using stainless steel and the temperature to which stainless steel can be subjected is higher. So we can assume the temperature over here to be 600. Now all the other surfaces are subjected to convection. So I will give convection on the rest of the three surfaces. Now if you have different convection factors that is the film coefficient, you can separately give the value. I am giving same value of film coefficient to all the three surfaces. Now rather than giving a value, I am giving a temperature dependent value here. So I'll go for the first option, stagnant air horizontal cylinder. Next, I will go to solution and insert thermal temperature. Also, I will insert thermal total heat flux. I'll go to solution and solve. So if you click on temperature now, you will see this is the temperature variation over the piston ring. You can animate and check the result. And this is the total heat flux over the piston ring. The highest value is 0 0.030488 watt per mm square. Now, apart from steel, the other material which can be used is grey cast iron. So, you can go to this option and new material. Okay. I'll go to engineering data sources, general materials. And I will choose grey cast iron. Project, update project. So when you come back here, you will find another material has been added, grey cast iron. You can just check the solution, but be careful that you change this temperature to say around 450 degrees Celsius. Solution, solve. So you can see here, this is the temperature variation now. I have given 450 as the inner temperature. So this is the temperature variation over the body. The highest value is 450 and the lowest that you can see is 449.25. The reason being the thermal conductivity is less for grey cast iron as compared to stainless steel. And total heat flux is 0 0.020607 watt per mm square. So this is the highest value of heat flux over the body. Now, when you have these two materials, 
you can observe that for stainless steel my value was better so in that case i would prefer going for stainless steel as the material as compared to grey cast iron you can see here it is 450 and it is 447 total heat flux is 0.0205 so it is approximately same for both of them so you can just decide which material you want to use depending on the cost and also on the usage also for steel if you observe this value can be little higher so obviously it is better to use steel as compared to grey cast iron but in regular usage both the materials are equally used there is no reason for not using grey cast iron that is also being used in the factories so with this i end the session of analysis of piston ring if you have any doubts please write to me in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon for latest video updates see you in the next session thank you